Just want to take a quick few minutes to try to correct an error in statements that I've made on X recently, where I thought I was correcting an error that I thought that I had previously made. A couple months back or so, I released some videos talking about internet computer and comparing them to some other blockchains. And one of the things that I said in the video was, internet computer was able to run an LLM AI fully on chain. And then three, four weeks ago, I decided to Google, what is ChatGPT2? And the result I got was that ChatGPT2 was an SLM or small language model. And so I've been commenting recently, telling people that no, no, ChatGPT2 is an SLM, not an LLM, because that's what Google told me when I Googled it. And in preparation to record this video, I decided to make a couple more lookups and I'm getting a very different result now. And all of these results came from the AI component of Google. And it does say that the generative AI is experimental. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it to generate the incorrect response stating that ChatGPT2 is an SLM. So maybe it's learned or Maybe I didn't run the exact same search. I don't know, but it says here that an SLM or small language model are trained on smaller, more specific, and often higher quality data sets than LLMs. SLMs are designed to perform specific language tasks efficiently, whereas a large language model is a type of artificial intelligence or AI that uses machine learning to recognize and generate text and perform other natural language processing tasks. LLMs are trained on massive amounts of data, which is why they are called large. And so, of course, small language models and large language models differ in size, complexity, and capabilities. SLMs are smaller and less complex than LLMs. SLMs are faster to train and deploy than LLMs. SLMs are more cost effective. Now, of course, when I ask, is ChatGPT2 a large language model? Yes, ChatGPT is a large language model, which is interesting because when I ask this question, just simply, is ChatGPT2 an LLM? I get very different results when I ask the question that way. When I ask if ChatGPT2 is an LLM, first of all, the AI assistant doesn't pop up, or at least it didn't this time, and the result doesn't directly answer the question. It just says it's a chatbot service powered by GPT backend provided by OpenAI. And then, of course, it does go on to say that it relies on a large language model. So it does answer the question in a roundabout way. Now, interestingly enough, when I ask Google to just simply list examples of small language model AI, it gives me some output. And the thing that's pretty messed up is I look at these and GPT-3 is a large language model then why are you giving it to me when I'm asking for a small language model? Alpaca. Well, in the results here, it doesn't actually say if it's a small language model or SLM or a large language model. Not helpful results, Google. Llama is a family of autoregressive large language models. Once again, I'm asking for a small language model here. Orca2, trained on GPT-4 signals, which is an LLM. Orca stands out in reasoning tasks, offering clear explanations. But apparently, Orca, or some variation of Orca, is an SLM. Assuming that this result and source are correct. Ah, the age of misinformation and confusion. Love it. Now, when I simply ask ChatGPT 4.0, oh, what is ChatGPT 2? It tells me a whole bunch of stuff, but then it never bothers to say if it's an SLM or an LLM. So I ask it directly, is ChatGPT2 an SLM or an LLM? And of course, it comes back and says that it is considered an LLM. The reason that I decided to go ahead and move forward with this video, even though the mistake that I thought I made a couple months ago and some other videos turned out to not be a mistake. The mistake was information that I got from Google, which was incorrect, and then using that information to comment on a few tweets on Twitter, pointing out to people that ChatGPT2 is an SLM and not an LLM. And I think this just makes for a really good example 
of doing your own research, not just doing your own research, but thoroughly doing your own research because information that you come across, unfortunately, it's not necessarily correct, you know, so you got to check it and then check another source and another source and another source, and then maybe even learn the definition of something. And then using the definition, go in and see if you can make the determination yourself. The internet's supposed to make things quicker and easier. And you know what? In a lot of ways it does. But when it starts feeding you incorrect information, and by the way, LLMs, are notorious for doing that, just start hallucinating and just making things up. It seems just a little counterproductive, doesn't it? You know, I don't know where technology is going to go, but hopefully, hopefully things improve. And like I said, you know, it'd be nice if I could get Google to produce the incorrect results again so that I could show you. But I know one thing I didn't hallucinate. Google told me that ChatGPT2 was an SLM.